This is the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Hamashayach Yahawashai which strengtheneth me. Shalom, Kal Halayim, Wahawad La, Abanawi Yahawah, Bahasham Hamashiach, Wamaki Yahawashai. Double honor to the venerable apostles of the great millstone, GMS, who rule and teach Yasha Alawel through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Peace, blessings, citations to the Akim pushing its 100% gospel, good news, the world over, in sincerity and in truth, risking the life of Yahweh by Shemir al Shaifek. To your few sisters, to you I say Shalom. Wa Adawan Ratazar, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Alright, and you know, the reason I brought out this precept in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 is that, <clears throat> you know, the times that we're coming through, or coming to, rather, okay, we're going to need. You know, strength and support from Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay. All right. That's why it's important to pray and fast. All right, for that strength from the Lord during these perilous times that we're gonna come to. All right, because we're in the last minutes. All right, of the last days. So it is crucial to have a faith-based mentality. All right, to keep us prepared mentally and spiritually for the troubles ahead. All right, because we're gonna need that hedge of protection from the Lord. Alright, and wisdom and knowledge is the light to guide us through darkness, okay? Alright, we have the mandatory implementation of the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, and that's around the corner, uh, as well as uh, Jacob's trouble, okay? So, you know, we as the hopeful elect, putting on as the elect, need to remain spiritual more so now than ever, alright? Because there's other Israelite groups out there who still operate carnally. You know, leading their congregation down the wrong road. Okay. So I'm going to go to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 41. In verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will help thee. Yes, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Okay. You know, that's why we must not have that fear demon. All right, to take control over us, all right, you know, because if the Lord be for us, who can be against us, okay, you know, faith is a gift, and without it, it's impossible to please the Heavenly Father, all right, and we need to have, you know, our faith increased to keep pushing, all right, and not that many Israelites have that faith, all right, which is not the spirit to be in, all right, so you want to pray and fast more to the Most High. Alright, to get those demons of doubt, those demons of fear away from you, okay? To strengthen your mind and spirit, alright, which will positively affect your, your conduct in this truth, okay? I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, man, okay? So having Yahweh Shai is the right hand of Yahweh's righteousness, he will sustain us, alright, Lord willing, we endure to the very end, okay? So uh, let's go to the book of St. John. Chapter 15 and verse 1. Now these are the words of Yahweh Shai. So it reads, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. Okay, if we jump down to verse 4. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. Verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me you can do nothing all right and ultimately the house is our foundation the precious chief cornerstone in whom we must lean upon wholeheartedly to keep us going all right and without him we are nothing okay just like you know you have a, a house plant okay all right without the stalk all right without the vine how can the branches flourish with nutrients, with life to bring forth more fruit abundantly. How can the plant grow therefore? Alright, just like these scriptures are living waters, spiritual food. Okay, and as we're instructed to, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, how are we going to get spiritually nourished and grow thereby? Alright, if we're not bringing forth, alright, fruit. Okay, spiritually speaking, which all stems from Yahweh Bashim Yashai, first and foremost. Okay, so it's the same thing. You know, with a with plant, alright, giving it that water, giving it the, you know, the essential nutrients that it needs, again, alright. 
Yahweh Bashim Shah is the author and beginner of our faith. So let's go to the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, and verse 12. And it reads, And I thank Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, who hath enabled me, so that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Okay? And that's powerful because we didn't call ourselves into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, into this precious truth. We did not choose of our, our uh, sorry, we did not choose of our own accord to do the works of the ministry, you know, laboring for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, but rather He called us. All right, isn't it not written? Okay, many are called, but few are chosen. You know, and Lord willing, you know, we're those chosen from the from the foundation of the world, the first fruit. Okay, let's get the. Uh, oh, that's not what I want. Let's get the. Uh, Greek word for enabled. And that Greek word is Strong G seventeen forty three and Dunamao. And Dunamao. Right now. Strong G one seven four three. Okay. And it goes into to be strong. Endure with strength, strengthen to receive strength, be strengthened, increase in strength. In a bad sense, <laughs> behold, headstrong. Okay, and we can only obtain that through Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. All right, and not resorting to carnal means. And you see, if it goes down, it says increase in strength, be made strong. All right. So you know. Another way of doing that is uh, meditating on these scriptures. We have to delve into these scriptures and read and read them, all right, to comfort us, comfort our spirit, keep us, you know, steadfast and stable, all right, stable in in this uh, in this truth, all right, and the times again that we're coming to, all right. Look at the word in stable, table, and what's a table? Stationary, okay. It's got its legs to support it, and it's in one place, strong. So we need to be strong like that stable okay because this is the only true way all right this is the only the only righteous route the straight gate all right as this society is collapsing right in front of our very eyes you know what, what else are you gonna do turn back to this world which is nothing in to begin with this vanity and vexation of spirit and death all right we're constantly sighing and uh, and crying for you know Against the abomination that has been done in the midst thereof. <laughs> Roughly paraphrasing. Okay. The vex with the filthy conversation. Right, the conduct of the people in this world. Alright. The filthy conversation of the wicked. So back to Philippians. Chapter 4. Verse 13. Again, I can do all things through Yahweh Shai, Hamashaya, which strengtheneth me. Alright, so gonna cut that short Lord willing that was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel and with that I'd like to give infinite praises glory and honor to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash until next time Lord willing Shalawam Kwam Yasharala Wa Ababa Bal we got next Lord willing constantly pray for each other pray for the apostles and elders alright keep praying and studying so with that Shalawam